All right, so we're gonna look at a new puzzle type today called Zordal, but before we get to Zordal, I wanted to say welcome to my newest member, James. And I also wanted to let you know that for all of my members and potential members, that we've got a new emoji. So I'm gonna put it on the screen right over here. It is an emoji that I had made of my dog, Banjo. Banjo's laying on the floor back here. So that should be available for you to use now. And I am able to add, I think, a couple more emojis at this point. So let me know what kind of emojis you'd like to see. I found out that you can't actually change the emojis once you've put them in there. Uh, and so I, I wanna make sure we get emojis that we wanna use before I just throw random things in there. So if you have ideas, let me know in the comments or jump over on the Discord server and we can talk about it there. But today we are looking at a new puzzle type called Zordal. Now I actually received a message from somebody linking a different Wordle variant that seems to be connected to this one, and they said that that one was created by Richard Garfield, who created Magic the Gathering, but I haven't been able to find anything on the site that says who made it or anything, so this maybe was made by Richard Garfield. If, uh, if somebody that knows, or if Richard Garfield himself would like to leave a comment to let us know, that'd be great. But I think this might have been created by Richard Garfield. So anyways, it looks like it's going to be really interesting. So the, the way this one works is it's kind of like Dordle. So there's two words that you're trying to guess. However, you'll notice over here on the screen, we do not have two grids. We have one grid. So it's two words, but they're overlapped. And the way the clues work is if it's green, like the eye here, that means that one of the two words has a gr an eye in that position. If it's yellow, that means, like this T, one of the two words has a T, but not in that position. And there's no overlapping letters, so the two words do not share any letters in common. So you don't have to worry about, well, what if it's a green eye here, but a yellow eye over here for the different words? No. So, it, it's interesting. So you don't know if the, the yellow T goes with the green eye. Those could be two different words. And if it's gray, like the H and the N here, that means that letter is not in either of the words. So I think it'll be really interesting. I'm excited to try it. So I'm gonna start with the daily Zordal for today and then you can click the previous button up above to go to previous days. So I might check out some of those as well. Um, we've got think and the green eye. So I guess, do I use the eye or not is the question. I'm kind of thinking not, just to see if I can figure- Oh, I don't want to do the K right there, though. Uh, steak, how about that? I, I'm thinking not use the the green, because we already know there's a green eye there, so... This will get us more information. Okay, so that's not where the T or the K are, so maybe... I mean, the K could even be in the third position, really, because it could be the different word. But... I'm thinking, I don't really know the best approach here. I'm just kind of trying to use letters we haven't already used, so... Maybe P-R-O... C-R... It'd be good to use a K at the beginning and a T at the end if we can. Hmm, the K at the beginning is going to be tricky because... Maybe K-R? O? All right, I think the K is gonna be hard. How about Ro- Oh, rope, but we don't want the E at the end. All right, Depot. That'll be good. That lets us check a T at the end, an E earlier on, D, P, see if there's an O. Okay, so there is a P and an O, so... Ah, I would say something like spoke, but we don't have an S in the K and the E, yeah, okay. So the E is either going to be third, fourth, or first. It could be third, because it could be a different word than the I. Now there's a T at the end in one of them, so maybe something E-T? With a P? Pivot? Oh, but the I, we don't have an I. The, the I's in there, though. Oh, there's no O there. Yeah, okay. So if there's no O... Something G-E-T, maybe? Something get? Hmm. You know, forego isn't bad. It lets us check F, R, and G, and two more places for O. 
Let's try that. Okay, so there is an E in one of them. It's probably not I-E-T. It's probably not E-O. And the E has to be first or fourth. So... It could be O-I though. Something O-I, like... Joint? But we don't have the N. Ah. Joist? No. Wait, no, no H. Joist would be good other than the S. And the O, I, and T don't have to be all in the same word either, of course, but... P, O, something maybe? Okay, if the K is second, what's gonna come before the K? I think... I think it's gotta be either first or third. It could be something like this, like, oh, it can't be maker, but po poker. Poker would be good, let's go with poker. Oh, good, poker is one of them, okay. So now the other one has a T, and that's all we know, and an I, a T and an I. So it's something, something, I, something, T. Uh, it could be like I-L-T. Built, built would be good, B-U-I-L-T. Ooh, almost, so it can't be guilt. Uh, quilt, quilt. Okay, cool, so poker and quilt. Wow, that is kind of interesting. Um. Very tricky. Alright, so that was today's puzzle. I'm, you can actually hit previous here and do the previous day's puzzles, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to do a few of the previous ones and see if I can figure out some more about this. So this has only an A so far. So um, store is always good if you're just trying to get letters that are common. Oh, but the R, that wasn't very smart. I did that too quickly and I didn't think about the R. Oh, well, okay. So... All right, so I want to use some letters I haven't used yet. Um, L O would be good, but I can't do lobby. We don't have the Bs. I mean, we could do laugh. We already know there's a green A there. All right, I'm I'm gonna do laugh, even though we already have the A there. It lets us check L U G and H, so I think that's good. Okay, there is a U now, not necessarily with the A, but. It could also be something OU, since we have the O here. Something like thought? No. Found. Found is good. Let's go with found. Okay, so one thing we do know is the second letter is A and O in the two words. Because once you have two letters in the same column, there that there's no other options for that column anymore. So there's just the two words, so it's not found. Now, we don't know if the A goes with the U or the O goes with the U, unfortunately. Uh, maybe like, not pound, uh, sow? No, not sow. What would be, if it's S-O-U, hmm, don't think it's S-O-U. What about S-A-U? Saute? No, there's no T. Ah. Saucy. Saucy could be it. Let's try that. Huh? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, maybe it means it's all greens, but it's not the right word. So we got all greens because these are letters from two different words. So, oh, so it's probably sauce. Sauce, okay. And then the other one is something O, something, something, Y. I mean, it could be something crazy like mommy. That's just all M's. Actually, given the, the letters we have, that's not terrible. I'm gonna try that. If nothing else, if there's an M, at least we'll know where it is. It was mommy. All right, cool. Yeah, so given the, the letters we had left, I, I wasn't sure what else it could even be. So, cool. So that one was Sauce and Mommy. That's kind of interesting. If you get all greens, but it's not one of the words, it puts, huh? <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. Day 104. A for Valor. Okay. So, 
So my strategy basically has been to not use the letters we already know, but once it's a yellow, if it's a yellow, I feel like it's okay. The greens I don't want to reuse, but the A I think is okay, so... Um, something like Awake isn't terrible. It checks two more spots for the A's. Okay. Uh, and I was gonna say Ample, but we, we don't have the L. And we don't want to use the A and the E anyways, that's right. Okay, so... St oh, I was just thinking stone, but again, the O, we don't want to reuse the E. S sight. Sight would be good. Five new letters. Okay, so the first letter is A and S, and the last letter is E and T. We don't know which one goes with which, but and there is an I, so... Uh, how about... How about something like, uh, oh, we don't have L or R. I was gonna say flick. Yeah, there's no K either. I was just trying to think of something with an I in the third position that uses letters we haven't used yet. How about climb, climb. We don't have, we haven't checked C, M, or B yet. Checks another spot for the I. I think that's okay. Okay. There is no C, M, or B, and the I isn't there, so the I has to be in the fourth position. So either S something something I, T, or I, E, or A, or I, E. Annie, but that's a name. I'm assuming names aren't allowed. Audit. Audit would be good. We know there's an I in the fourth position. We haven't done U or D yet. Audit, okay, cool. So the other one is S and E, but that's all we know so far. So it's gotta be, I mean, I guess it could have another E, right? Because otherwise, what vowel are we gonna have? Because it can't be an A or a U or an I because they can't share letters. So it's not A, U, or I, and there's no O, so it has to be another E, or a Y. I mean, I've got F, P, and N that seem good to use, but I don't have very many letters left. I could have another S, I guess, too. S, S E, S Sneeze, yeah. Hmm, it ends in E. I mean, we could have some sort of S E at the end. Sense. Sense. Ah, oh, that's really tricky with the two S's and the two E's. I bet it's sense. Okay, it was sense. Oh, that was a hard one. I think that's the first one we've seen that had a, a double letter and it had two double letters, so. Interesting. Alright, so day 103. Okay, the A and the L. So. Laugh seems good. New spots for the L and the A. Check U G H. K. So. Awake isn't bad. Actually, awoke is better. Because it checks the O. Okay. So... The A is either in the middle or at the end. Probably the middle. So let's do something... Snare... Oh, not snare, because we don't have the E. Slack. Slack is good. It checks the A in the middle, the L in the second position, K at the end, checks the S and the C. Ooh, okay, that was really good. So, Flack, well, okay. And the thing is, we so we know it, it could also be L-U. It's not necessarily L-A-C-K. It feels like it probably is. Flack or Black. B-O something. What about Robot? I know we don't have a T. But it checks R and B. B might be for black. Let's see if we have an R. That's a good letter to check. And two places for the O. I'm gonna do that. Okay. So... Could be O-U. Could do R-O-U, but then what's gonna be... Round. Round would be good. Let's go with that. Okay, it was round. So the other one is... Black then, because it's L-A-C-K and it has the B, round and black. Okay, cool. 
All right, so there you go. That was a few Zordles. That's pretty interesting. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of like Dordle, where you're guessing two at a time, and your guess applies to both words. The interesting part is how you don't know which letters go with which word. So it definitely adds an extra level of complexity, but that's really fun. I'm gonna have to do more of those in the future. So if you tried Zordle, let me know how it went for you and what you think of this version of Wordle. Be sure to like and subscribe to help out the algorithm. Maybe consider clicking that join button so you can use that banjo emoji, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Ooh, okay, now we can't do gumbo. Now I did turn hard mode on. I've had some suggestions to try hard mode, so. So now we just need to use two words using letters we haven't already used. So we can- Ooh, ooh! Is, what team is Ariza on? Ariza's on the Lakers as well. Uh, what about, is Justice Winslow? Justice Winslow?